हॅलो लर्नर्स आय एम सौरभ दीपक जोशी लेक्चरर आदर्श कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी विटा टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बेसिक कन्सेप्ट ऑफ मिनरल मेटाबॉलिजम सो फर्स्टली अबाउट द लर्निंग आउटकम आफ्टर कम्पिटिशन ऑफ दिस व्हिडिओ द लर्नर विल एबल टू नो अबाउट वॉट इज द वॉट इज मिनरल मेटाबॉलिजम वॉट आर द डिफरंट फंक्शन्स ऑफ मिनरल इन अवर बॉडी then the classification of minerals nutritional important nutritionally important minerals and minerals in our body besides that the factors affecting requirement of that minerals and deficiency and excesses if the if the minerals are deficiency in our body or the excess in our body then what happen and also requirement and their toxicities of that minerals so nextly so nextly we know about the basic minerals now we are study detailed about the minerals first firstly functions of minerals some participate some participate with the enzymes in the metabolic processes that is the cofactors for example magnesium manganese copper zinc and potassium these minerals are participate with the another enzymes to metabolize the processes in our body some have the structural functions that is the calcium or potassium sorry calcium and phosphorus in the bone that is the for the for the formation of bone the calcium and phosphorus these minerals are very important next next the for the acid base and water balance for acid base and water balance in our body sodium potassium chlorine are these are the minerals or these are the ions which are required in our body next for the nerve and muscle functions for the smooth layers uh, for the neat functions of nerve and muscle the calcium sodium and potassium these minerals are required to our body next function of minerals is unique functions that is for the hemoglobin vitamin b12 and thyroxine these are for the neat functions of hemoglobin vitamin b12 or thyroxine the function the minerals are also important to our body next point is the classification mainly the minerals are classified into two groups that is the macro or major mineral and micro or trace minerals don't confuse with the macro and micro major minerals and trace minerals that is uh, major means macro and trace minerals means micro minerals so in the major minerals the sodium potassium magne- magnesium calcium phosphorus sulfur chloride these minerals are majorly found in our body and majorly essential for our body and in the trace minerals the minimum requirement or the minimum use of that minerals means trace minerals these are the manganese iron cobalt chromium molybdenum copper zinc fluoride iodine and selenium these minerals are very less in the very less amount these are required to our body next in the major minerals these minerals are present in our body tissues at the concentration more than 50 micro microgram per kilogram and in the trace minerals these minerals are present in our body tissues at the concentration less than 50 microgram per kilogram next classification on the basis of the requirement of these minerals so the requirement of the major minerals are more than 100 mg per day and in the micro or trace minerals requirement of these minerals is less than 100 mg per day 100 mg per day next there is a reflection spot means pause the video and ans and take a paper and pen and write the answer of that question your own way the question is what do you think what are the nutritionally important minerals in our body so 
write down the answer which you mean for that question pause the video and write the answer the question is what do you think which are the nutritionally important minerals in our body so next nutritionally important minerals let's see what are the minerals or which are the minerals which are nutritionally important to our body again we are studying in the classification of minerals there are the two classes of two classes of the minerals macro and trace elements in the macro elements what are the nutritionally important minerals with their with their amount in our body so the calcium so the requirement of calcium to our body is the 15 g per per kg likewise the potassium phosphorus sodium chloride sulfur magnesium these are the required amount of minerals in the macro in the macro minerals per gram per kg and in the trace in the trace minerals so in the trace elements these are the requirements of minerals or the elements in our body by the weight per kg these are the elements in the trace il trace minerals that is iron zinc copper molybdenum selenium iodine and manganese and these are the values of that mineral which are required to our body so these are totally these are the macro and trace elements which are nutritionally important minerals to our body so there is another point minerals in foods the, these are the minerals which are which we gain from the diet from the food that is the uh, plant source or animal source mainly these all mainly these all the minerals which are found in the majorly in food groups that in that more reliably found in the animal product from the animal source the mineral these minerals are we required majorly often other substances in the foods decreases absorption bioavailability of mineral so so there are the substances or there are some substances which are present in the food but in the presence but in the presence of that the mineral metabolism or mineral absorption in our body that is the bioavailability of that minerals is decreased so what are that products first is the oxalate and second is a fatty oxalate found in a spinach present prevents absorption of most calcium in spinach the calcium which is present in the spinach but in the presence of oxalate oxalate is also present in the spinach in the presence of oxalate calcium absorption is decreased and in the fatty fatty is the form of phosphorus in the most of the plants makes it poorly available because of the fat because of the fatty the phosphorus is mainly mainly found in a decreased amount in some plants material next point there is the factors affecting of that required requirements of the minerals there are there are two factors first is the physiological state or level of production and second is the interaction with the other minerals in the physiological state or the level of production the the some of some of the minerals which are produced in our body that affects or the level of that product level of that production of minerals affect the mineral requirement to our body and second point is the interactions with the other minerals so there are some minerals or there are different type of mineral which are continuously present in our body the interactions with their the interaction of one mineral is to the to the another or the other minerals can in, can form the another by product and the that and this effect on the mineral requirement in our body or the normal values of that mineral in our body next point is the deficiency and excesses most minerals have an optimal range 
below leads to a deficiency syndrome and above leads to toxicity symptoms these are well known to well known to everyone the minerals have the have their normal ranges or optimal ranges but when the min, when the level when the level of minerals is below than the normal then it is called as a deficiency symptom it causes the deficiency symptom and when the no, when the mineral when the level of mineral is more than normal then it is leads or it causes the toxicity symptoms mineral content of the soil de- detects mineral statuses of plants that is feeds in the soil there are the various types of minerals that also affect or that also detects with the mineral in the plants next point may it may takes many months to develop that there are some minerals which are developed in our body or developed in the animal or plant source it takes the various it takes the many months to develop to form in their body next point is the requirement and toxicities there are the requirements and there are the requirements of every mineral to our body and there are also the toxicities of that minerals the requirement the requirement of some elements we are taken for the example and their toxicity level is also we are taking for the example so beside the human body there are other species which which also require the minerals to their body for example cattle swine or livestock or horses these are the species which also required or these are the animals which also required the minerals to their body for the normal process in their body so first example is the copper the element copper or the iron copper is also required to the species of cattle or swine in they also required 5 to 8 for the cattle 5 to 8 and for the swine 6 mg per kg and above uh, this is the normal values and when the normal values is exceed or more than then there is also the toxicity level for, and for the cattle and swine there is a 150 115 mg per kg and for the swine there is a toxicity level when the 250 mg per kg the copper is present in their body as like the other cobalt iodine and selenium these are also element and their requirement and toxicity level in in the species so thank you and happy learning if any query then contact to my mail to my mail id j saurabh04 @gmail.com thank you thank you very much